Hello and welcome to my New Year's Marmot. 2010 is right around the corner and of course I hope that 2009 has been a mostly enjoyable year for all of you. New year, new start of course, and uh, we're given new chances to mess up our lives in ways that we never thought to be possible. Of course, the first step towards that is usually the New Year's resolutions. So, let me ask you, are you making any? Are you actually planning on keeping them? If you're planning on quitting smoking, then let me congratulate you on making the right choice. And I will be cheering you on. And I will also be hoping that your smoke-free era actually lasts past January the 2nd. Our New Year's traditions here are less interesting than our Christmas ones. Basically, we all get together in the living room and uh, watch a couple New Year's shows and uh, year reviews. And of course, Dinner for One, which is a really old, really funny 10-minute sketch that uh, is easily found on YouTube. So if you're interested, and you should be, uh, go look it up and check it out. It's really funny. Um, then we enjoy a good dinner that usually consists of potato salad and sausages. It's a tradition, right? And uh, yeah, pretty much talk some more, have a drink or two perhaps, and pretty much wait for midnight to roll around. At midnight, we toast and uh, after that, we go outside and light some fireworks and watch our neighbors and our town's fireworks. and get cold because it's probably snowing outside or raining or something else silly and uh, then we head back inside and enjoy some really delicious bellina fresh out of the oven they're pretty much a type of donut filled with berry jelly very very delicious also a very good tradition I like that one uh, then we have some drinks and talk some more yet again and uh, you know eventually when it's late at night, uh, head to bed and are hopefully happy and a little tipsy. Unless of course you do the party thing, then you pretty much just get trashed and uh, hope that you wake up in a bed that you actually recognize. Unless you're the adventurous type, then you probably don't hope for that. On that note, I am in dire need of a costume ID for a costume party. The theme is stars and starlets and movie and TV characters. If you have any kind of idea what I could dress up as, I don't, so uh, please tell me in a comment. Uh, whatever I end up going with is going to make a short appearance on Twitter, so you, you actually know what I picked. Um, Either way, I hope you have a very enjoyable New Year's celebration and a very good start to the New Year. In WoW news, I read it my UI and I uploaded it to WoW interface. Um, if you have any questions about my UI, please don't actually try to ask them on WoW interface because I don't check that. Um, also please don't send me PMs about it, I do not ever reply to those. There is a thread on tankspot.com specifically for the purpose of asking questions about my UI and troubleshooting. I do reply to that one uh, as soon as I see them or have a solution available. So if you have any UI question, no matter how silly or non-silly it may be, please reply to that thread. Please no PMs, I really don't reply to them. Um, I also got asked about releasing a tutorial on how to make KG panels artwork. I actually think that is a good idea. Once I get some spare time and provided there's some interest for it, I will make a tutorial on how I make my artwork for KG panels. Then, Tankspot's forums are going to be switched over to VB4, which is probably going to result in some downtime, but also in a very sweet new site design, so that should definitely make up for the downtime you might be faced with. Then of course we have our t-shirt line launching. Um, the t-shirts are done by the same guy that also makes the EJ t-shirts and runs maintankadem.com so he definitely knows his stuff. In case it's totally eluded you, I'm going to show you some design examples. You cannot escape the marmot. I'm in full swing of working on my Shadow Priest guide. 
actually got the voiceover done and I am currently working on getting some footage that is more interesting than standing around in Ice Crown looking at my abilities. So once I have that ready to go, it's going to be released. That will probably be sometime next week, after the new year. Um, also next week's Marmot is going to have general healing tips and healing tricks for the first four bosses of Ice Crown Citadel. And then the week after, on the 5th, we are going to have a new wing of Ice Crown released. So we got some new content. Yay! Oh, also, dearest, loveliest, cuddliest, kindest, protective, bloody meat shields. This seems to be a particularly tough thing to get into people's heads, so I would once more like to ask for a moment of your undivided attention. Well, I call you incredibly silly for telling this priest not to bubble you. The only class that could potentially get away with a request such as this is a protection paladin that is running heroics in eye level 245 or higher gear. If you're not a prop pally in that situation, then please don't complain about getting bubbled, please. Because, you know, it really does not affect your rage gain at all. No, no, stop fighting it. It really does not affect your rage gain. If you suck at generating threat, it is actually because you suck at generating threat, not because your healer is bubbling you. Thank you. I'm very glad I got that out of my system, again. So, other than that, we're at a point in the expansion that is actually kind of reminiscent of uh, the Sunwell patch back in BC. If you remember, uh, the badge gear came out and made it incredibly easy to for well people that haven't really been raiding to catch up in gear to the people that have been raiding. That is to say, gear right now is incredibly easy to come by. You can hit 80 and you can pretty much skip past two tiers by just running heroics and uh, gathering up Frost and Triumph badges. As you probably know, the first heroic of the day nets you to Frost badges and any other heroic where you run after nets you bunches and bunches of triumph badges. So yeah, you can actually gather up a very decent set of tier 9 equivalent gear while you're gathering some fast badges for tier 10 equivalent gear. That means you're pretty much able to run older and above within a week of hitting 80 by just running heroics. So even if you're a new 80 healer, get in there. Just don't be scared. If you're scared of healing because you're new to it, just make sure you have some decent raid frames like uh, Grit or Healbot or Voodoo or whatever else it is that people use right now. Something you're comfortable with and something you can set up easily to be comfortable with. Once you have those, just get in there and practice, practice, practice because that is all that matters. The more practice you get at a new role that you play, uh, the the sooner you get comfortable with it, and the sooner you're comfortable with it, the the sooner it's easier for you. I recently tried out DPS again because um, I'm making the Shadow Priest guide, and it was really awkward at first, but I'm getting more comfortable with the role, so my DPS is actually going up as I get more knowledgeable at which buttons to press at which time. So really it's all about practice, 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 and just get in there. If you want a challenge as a beginner healer, I would recommend running one of the new heroics. Um, they actually, they're still a bit of a challenge and they will make you have to think on the spot, which I think is very important for any healer or any player really. Uh, they're not terribly devastating and they actually have some pretty rewarding drops, especially if you're a new 80. So just get in there and give them a shot. Um, Hots of Reflection in particular actually gives you a really good idea of how well a healer handles himself. So if you happen to be the raid or guild leader or recruitment person of a more casual raid guild and you're looking for new healers to recruit, uh, Hots of Reflection is actually a pretty good place to spring on them just to see how, how well they handle themselves under a little bit of stress. That actually concludes this week's Marmot. Uh, as you can probably tell, I'm still a little bit short on time, which will change in the new year, and I have some pretty interesting surprises for you guys then. But until then, I wish you happy holidays and a really good start to the new year. 
บไป